speak life into the masses. Let poetry use me as a vessel as she puff puff passes me around the room to slash through any misunderstandings that sarcastically happen. Like when folks want me to be anything other than me, like bleed any other blood other than my blood or live any kind of life other than my life. Cause they wasn't sitting on the side of that bed begging for their granddaddy to come back. To bless me with the legacy that I didn't know that I had. But instead I was left with a vision. A vision that said pop open the top of this box. Open up these scrolls. And it read, poetry, poetry is not dead. I wish I knew you. I wish I knew you before they sank their teeth in and drank you. Before they put their chops in and screwed you, I wish I knew you. Like, before you knew yourself, you used to have so much passion, but brother, I look at you like what's left. A regular wise guy, cause you seem to know everything, but have managed to fall victim to the game as I watched you recycle and recycle over and over again. But the thing is, I still wish I knew you. Like, back when we were like minds, Playing in the same field, I I respected you artistically because we shared in the same accolades and gills, and you would hit that stage and you'd follow through and make a couple mistakes, but that's so that's okay with me. Why? Because I know you. And when you spoke, I saw you as though there was no one else, certainly no one else, certainly just you and me, but came along the need for you to grow. You were no longer a juvenile. Swimming in a small pool for you no longer worthwhile, so I was left behind and I, I waited on your performances, but they never came and two weeks turned into some months and it seemed, it seemed right, it seemed kind of strange until I got a flyer which you said to feature. Wow, you seemed to learn so much in such little time and you look so different. What you got? You rocking up skinny jeans or pro hock and rocket chains? Boy, I am skinny. you. <laughs> but I'm proud of you and your newfound thing. But then I watched you on stage and, yeah, things had changed. And I just couldn't figure out what was that dance that y'all do. You had everybody up acting a fool, but your real voice never shined through. And I thought I knew you, but that's all right. <clears throat> I'm going to go behind stage and I'm going to wait patiently. But of course, you look straight through me. I wanted you to sign my CD. It would have been nice, but... The girl with the big booty and thighs caught your eye and I got brushed aside. Once again, I thought I knew you. But when did you become a pervert? Thinking your type that you can tattoo your name on the inside of what's under her skirt? Dude, I thought I knew you. But that's okay, because of you, I'm not you. And I approach the mic now. I spit, scream, and I fight now. And my whole goal is to never be like you. So once again, this is a thank you. But you'll come to me, you'll come back and be project of poets. And you'll say, hey girl, <laughs> don't I know you? And I'll say, I think we met before, but I'll be thinking, dude, I wish I knew you. Yeah.